Why did you wake me up so early? It's, it's seven in the morning. Cause it's a pajama party going to the galaxy. Today, we are in this amazing collab and we are all, <laughs> all doing galaxy pours. So we're taking you to the galaxy. Now I, when I think of galaxy, I am gonna like kind of take it with a little Lisa Marvin twist and we're gonna make it like really bright and colorful and hopefully it will work. I think he thinks it will work. Let's talk about colors. I'm actually using, oh, you can't see what I'm using. That's hilarious. Okay, <laughs> I'm actually using all piggies because I am going to probably do some painting on top. So if my cell activator stinks and is wonky, I don't mind. How cute are my little eye patches to sleep in? Um, okay, let's talk about my vision. My vision is to start with a color I don't even think I've ever used before. Thank you. Yep, yeah, good. TLP Mosh. Hold it so they can see the piggy. Yep, good. Okay, TLP Mosh, okay? It's a really, it's a neon orange. From the orange, we are gonna explode out into color, okay? We have TLP Horizon, Funk, and Watermelon. From that explosion, we are gonna go into deep, blues and purples into TLP Constellation Sapphire and my favorite TLP of all time is Velvet, a blue interference, which is the most magical color, no matter what. It was from the first release and I'll always love it. So funnily enough, my cell activator today, I'm not using Payne's Gray, which I normally use. I'm using Amsterdam Prussian Blue because my base paint is Sherwin-Williams Color To Go Anchors Away, which is a navy color. So we're going deep navies and hopefully an explosion of color in the middle. And then afterwards, um, I'll probably like, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'll probably hand paint, oh, spill some paint. That's oh awesome my. on his shirt. He is, his mother's son, is me. Anyway, let's clean Mo up. Let's get to work. We'll be right back. Ah. So I have a two foot round here. What I've done today is I have on the floor put the biggest fluid art pour mat they sell. I think it's four feet by three feet. I'm not sure. Uh, because this two footer, I just want it to be able to kind of like spin and have it go on the floor. It is on my cake spinner on top of this like little folding table. Um, Cause I'm probably gonna be mostly tilting so I don't really care. And I'm going to put a thinner layer of paint than I normally would. And then I could spin it, okay? Did you have something to say, Mo? Well, I hope, well, this is just, this is not a usual set. That's right, it's not my usual setup. This is in a different spot altogether. So here is my color to go in Anchors Away. I know you would, when you think galaxy, Mo, you think kind of like black, right? Yeah, I, I, I think like black with like red dots. That's like right. Galaxy, yeah. But I'm gonna make the sky a really deep blue and this actually dries even darker than this. So today, I'm not going to, hmm, I'll probably use three quarters of this. I don't want too much paint, um, but it is a two-footer. So, guys, I hope you like this video. I don't know how this is going to turn out. <laughs> I don't know either. I'm kind of nervous. We, we, we just happen to, this is not a voice over. Yeah, this is like, we're, we're living by the seat of our pants here, right? Yeah. This no. is just all real. All real. Um, no, no professionals inside here. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going like this, okay? I do have a pretty thick thing in the middle. Maybe I'll spin it a bit. Okay, so because I don't want... Um, this is thicker than it normally is, I will say. So I'm actually, because I don't want mosh to take over, I want mosh, that bright orange, 
to be the focal point of the whole piece. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start off with mosh in a concentrated area and from that color, I'm gonna blow it out. So around the edges, hopefully will be the darker colors and then coming in the middle will be the mosh. It's a really cool color. So I have to think, okay, I'm gonna actually start with it here and move it out, okay? And I wanna make it kind of thick, but not long. And then it'll go like thinner, like here. Hopefully, right? Hopefully my idea can come to fruition. I don't know. Okay, so we have the mosh here. I thought I would speed up this process a little bit because I'm on a time crunch. And there is that um, horizon right on top. And I top with that or these orange colors. I don't use often, but I really should because they're kind of exciting, aren't they? There's that watermelon, another color that I don't use. And I'm not sure why. The pink is like really insane. And I think the combination of like the pinks and the purples and the oranges really make for an exciting kind of layered look so far. There's that constellation and I top it off with the sapphire and finally velvet. So let's look at my cell activator. So it's my regular recipe of Australian Floetrol and this is that Prussian blue. Now, I do like my cell activator a little thicker and this Prussian blue is quite light so it makes cells this is a little thin but i don't mind if it's a little thin i don't mind if it sinks a bit okay so my idea is to just do my line and blow it out and hope for a galaxy so my hair dryer today is my um baby bliss Bay bliss baby bliss i think i like it it has cool uh, cool shot and three different speeds and three different temperatures. So, oh God, moment of truth, everybody. <laughs> Here we go. And maybe like, I don't need to put that much sauce meter because the goal isn't cells. You know what I mean? I'll just start here. I'm nervous. Okay. I'm just going to do that. Here we go. So I'm definitely blowing out the edges a lot more. So I don't want too many lines. I want it more like a nebula, you know what I mean? I wouldn't overblow, or I call it overblowing, my edges, but I don't mind those soft edges for the purpose of this cool looking nebula. Now, if I had a straw, I would use it and blow into here. You know what? Should I overblow it? Maybe. I'm gonna over, normally I wouldn't blow again, but I'm going to, because I don't mind if the blue pillow comes up a bit. Tell people not to overblow and blow too much again but again here we're looking for a different vibe
Okay. Mm. The mosh did take over a lot more than I want, but I'm not worried yet because I can paint over it. Uh, like this part I don't love. Let's see if I can blow it. Okay, so I like what's happening here. I think it's really cool. Um, this I could kind of leave it, but again, not worried. By the way, so that mosh and my blue cell activator weren't playing well together. Do you know why? Do you know why color theory is important to think of before you think of anything else? Which I know, I'm an artist, been doing this for quite a bit. For some reason, uh, recognizing that orange and blue together, which are opposing colors, you know what they make? They make poop. They make brown. So don't be <laughs> mixing orange and blue together that much because, you know, you might not like it. Luckily, <clears throat> I managed to get the poop part off and I just keep stretching back and forth um, not going the way I expected, but I'm not as concerned as I was when I first blew it out because I'm starting to see some amazing um, layering of color and sparkle. So I'm out of the poop zone, luckily. I'm really stretching it out to get the perfect composition that I want. And once I kind of get it where I want it, I give it a good spin to make sure all the paint is off so there's no cracking when it dries. Okay, you guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but I, first of all, think this color combo is amazing. This to me is like what a sunset would look like on another planet. This is like for me, a cosmic sunset. I don't know, I'm loving what's happening. I'm just gonna put a little bit, well, I don't even know. So what I'm gonna probably do is, I'm gonna wait to see how it dries um, tomorrow before figuring out if I'm gonna embellish it. Um, so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with it, but I don't know, like, Am I crazy? I know people don't like when I don't do traditional blooms. They get mad at me. They say, do a bloom because that's what you do. But sometimes, I don't know, sometimes colors just like really excite me. Like, is it too boring? I don't know. I'm definitely gonna ask my painting friends, but I don't know. A, do you agree that this color combo is fire? You can't disagree. Does it bother you? Because I'm using the bloom ingredients, does it bother you that the cells and lacing is like distorted and not the way we're expecting it? I don't know. Okay, so let's wait till tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna do a close up right now and then I'll get back to you tomorrow and then we'll discuss some more. Love this color combo, definitely gonna use it again. See you in a sec. So I want to show you the wet result after painting. I'll show you the wet result after resining and then the final dried product. It's interesting to see whether um, it changes that much. In this case, it doesn't actually change that much because I knew I wouldn't have a lot of sinking of cells because I hardly have any cells. I really stretch them out. So I wasn't worried about anything changing too much. Okay, everyone, here's the dried result. I'm really happy with it. You can't tell now, but when the resin is on, like this is all sparkle here, there's sparkles up here. Okay, so what I'm going to actually do is I'm gonna resin it now, and then, cause I'm scared to um, make a mistake, like if I should just put stars or not, or just leave it as super abstract. So I'm gonna resin it, let it cure, and then I can do little stars, and if I don't like them, I can erase them. So here we go. I do have resining videos, but basically the quick thing, I mix my resin, equal parts. You always have to 
um, follow the directions of your own resin because they could be different. And mix, mix, mix. Make sure to always clean your piece with alcohol beforehand. Make sure you have enough resin on your piece and make sure to cover your piece. I'm kind of having a hard time because I'm holding my like phone and there's resin and I'm wearing my husband's gloves and they're way too big. So of course it's a whole disaster. Just pretend that looks professional. Uh, and that I don't have like baby fingers, which I don't actually. <laughs> but anyways, look at that color coming out under the resin. Oh, that glove is <laughs> killing me. Anyways, take your torch, get those boobles out. Not too long because you don't want to burn your resin either. Resin is finicky, but once you kind of get to it, it's not as hard as you think. So if you're avoiding resin, don't just go for it. You know, a little dust here or there, that's gonna be okay. By the way, people are gonna say, why don't you use one of those plastic things with the teeth? I don't like those plastic things. I prefer my hands because I can actually feel where there's missing resin. Here it is, the wet resin result. Okay guys, here is the final resin result. You know what? I don't think I'm gonna add stars to it. I don't wanna like cheapen it. I'm kind of like really digging this abstract vibe and I'm really enjoying, it's all sparkle. So like, you know, how can you go wrong? So I hope you guys agree with me that this is just gonna be like this and yeah, I don't wanna risk it. Thank you guys for joining. Please head over to Nathan's channel next, The Fine Art of Distraction. Please read all of the rules. Don't forget to enter for the amazing prize of 10 TLP pigments. Uh, let me know what you think. Have a good day. Bye-bye.